Hello YouTube, I'm um, going to be creating a series of videos about my journey creating a geodesic dome in my backyard. I saw a couple of videos online, um, one of them by a guy named Jihog or Gog, I can't know how to pronounce it, but he had a really good tutorial um, and I want to start mine and try it and get some advice and hopefully maybe come up with a few extra things myself that can help others that are watching the videos. Uh, this is my backyard, it's a fairly spacious backyard, so I've got a lot of area to work with but I figured this back corner would be the best next to some apple trees and uh, a fig tree there. No doubt these videos are going to be pretty awkward. Um, I'm filming them myself and everybody holds the camera for me so I got a tripod and I'm doing something I'm not used to doing so um, bear with me with the awkwardness. Um, so I've got my center here. I marked it with a, um, a piece of rebar and I've tied a string to it. That's going to be how I sort of get my radius for my foundation. Um, seems to be the most simple way for me. I'll kind of show you how I'm doing it, how I'm digging it. Um, mine is going to be a six and a quarter diameter dome, so it's about three or so meters high. Um, actually, it'll be customary system. It'll be ten feet and three inches. So I'm going to show you how I'm digging this up. So I've got the string tied to the um, the rebar there, and I measured the string out. You know, the tape measure to be. After I converted it from the metric system, I probably could just use the tape measure in the metric system, but for some reason I felt more comfortable the other way. Um, to 10 feet and 3 inches, so 10 and a quarter feet. And so I stuck a shovel in after I stretched it to about where it's going to be for their perimeter. And I'm going to dig that up there. Get the string out the way. Drop that out there. So now I'm going to follow this string line to its opposite side there. So I'll grab my string, walk on around, find the other mark, line it up where that hole is basically, and sure enough look down and I've already got the other one dug already. Of course this one, um, you don't pull it tight, you'll think you've done it wrong, but yeah. Pull it tight so you've got the actual length you were measuring before. So from here out, you're going to essentially come perpendicular to that line you just created across that way. You know, roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's about perpendicular. Grab your string. Come across, do the same thing here and on across. Then you'll divide all of those quarters from that point to this point. You'll divide that, dig a hole from that length, find its opposite, dig a hole in that length, and you'll continue that way, and I'll show you what it looks like when I get finished. Okay, so I've got the base of it down. I could do a few more, but just to show you what I'm talking about, this is what it turns out looking like. You've got the exact distance from the center all the way around at fairly even intervals if you use the method I showed just a second ago. Um, I mean, you don't really have to do this. You don't really have to grade off a perfect circle just because your foundation is going to be that. Because if you have a yard, you know, mine is not that great, but if you have a yard that's, you know, just trash, weeds and everything, and it's not really a big deal, um, you could just cut a big square, that, you know, grade off a square for your area. But this kind of saves grass or area that already has at least semi-grass in it if you don't want to tear your yard up irregularly. So, anyway. There it is right there. So I've got my circle. I don't have to really try to draw anything. Pretty simple. There's probably a million ways to do this. Somebody's probably sitting there thinking, well, you're an idiot. This is the way you really can do it. But this is my way, so I chose this way. So my next step, since my yard slopes, you can't really tell too well, but it got a little bit of a tilt to the left. I'm going to have to grade off and level this out to that direction and try not to disturb the roots of my fig tree because I love my fig tree. So. That will be the next step. Alright, so I've got, um, of course, my circular shape there. And um, it's pretty simple, a little hard work because I don't have any machinery. So if you got machinery, that's nice, like a backhoe or something, but I don't. So I'm going to be shoveling all this. I'll even be doing that when I grade it. Um, so anyway, it's your basic circle, which gives me a good visualization of what I'm going to be doing with it. It's pretty rough, but it's within, I measured it within an uh, inch or two of the diameter I'm supposed to have it. And you want to go beyond that diameter anyway to set the ground up with your foundation. I'm going to do a uh, probably a crushed gravel foundation. I'm going to do a layer of sand and build it up, and I'm going to do gravel on top of that. Um, that'll provide for 
you know, drainage across the yard since I have a sloped yard or any water that gets underneath can sink down. It won't just sit there. Um, I probably have to raise that back end about, uh, about a foot, maybe a foot and a couple of inches. So I've got a little labor ahead of me, but um, definitely want to make sure I have a good foundation for it. So, and the main reason I did the uh, prep and exact circle is just to save yard, basically. I don't want to cut up any more yard than I have to, do any more work than I have to. So that will be the next step. And um, that'll probably be it. When I show you all that graded down, that'll be it for this first video. And then uh, I'll probably have another one in about a week. All right, here we are a week and a half later. Got my little handyman here with me. And I've basically leveled it off. I've removed the top layer of centipede. It's really difficult. Centipede's a pain in the butt. Really strong root systems. And they kind of tangle within each other. So it was, it was a chore. Not to mention the yard's not in the best shape. It's got a lot of weedage in it too. So anyway, you can see what I did here was I had the sloped yard that sloped down this way. So I had to raise this end up. And I originally was going to make two layers of concrete blocks be the level. But it was just too high and too tedious without them being mortared. I could just see a good hefty uh, shift in wind pushing against that and toppling that. I didn't want that to happen. So I dug down here about, you know, six to actually about eight inches. So I was able to get the yard dug down there. I tied a string where I thought I wanted it. It was kind of an arbitrary, arbitrarily picked spot. Ran the string across over to this piece of rebar right there. And as you can see, got the string lined up with those blocks really level. I know the string can dip, but actually those blocks are level because I leveled them off with a standard level when I set them. And when I dug the trenches for these, I put a little gravel along the bottom, just as a little bit of uh, a strengthening factor to the foundation. Not that this building is going to be pushing any weight too hard on any one particular spot because it's a circle and that's the beauty of it. It's very well distributed and that's why it's so strong. So anyway, it's all flat. All I'm now waiting to do is cut all my boards. I've kind of worked out a few things um, as far as the links and figuring out how much wood I have. And the last thing I've got to do is, is get a little more solid on the angles of the cutting on the ends of those pieces of wood because I can't afford to make those mistakes. Anyway, um, there it is. I'll have another video soon and probably the next thing I'll show is putting down the black tarp um, as well as uh, the cutting process that was explained uh, by a couple other video bloggers on YouTube. So there's where we're at. Thanks for watching. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Hope none of you have to actually do this leveling process. If you have a level yard it makes it a lot easier but this had to be done. So in case you have to do it this is an option you can do. Until next time.